Hi guys, it's Music Beauty Life here, and today I'm here, maybe you can tell, to show you another bridal look. This is actually a bridal look that I did at a wedding recently. One of my dearest friends, Rachel, got married <clears throat> in June. That's why I took that trip to the United States. I was actually her bridesmaid, but I also did her makeup. And uh, we did a few trials, and this is the look that we came up with, and she was just absolutely stunning on her wedding day. I loved the look. And everyone that's seen the pictures has asked me to show the look, and I have a lot of friends getting married now, a lot of friends from high school and college, just we're at that age now where a lot of people are getting married. So I thought that I would show this look, and then I also have a little bit of a hair style here that I have a hair tuto tutorial for. I didn't actually do the hair tutorial today, so it's not in HD, the video, but you should be able to see it pretty easily to get the sort of style. And what it is is, you know, almost like berating, but it's not. It's twisting the hair all the way around the crown and then pinning it back here and then basically just teasing it a little bit, sweeping it all to the side and curling it. And if you had, I'm um, just going to show you the bottom there. And if you had longer hair, or if you wanted to put, I have to fix that now. Or if you wanted to put extensions in, I think this would be really prettier, a lot prettier with a, a fuller sort of bunch of hair. But I didn't um, actually have time to put in my extensions today. But my hair is actually longer in the video because I did just get my hair trimmed, so that might help. Uh, that is basically my intro for the day. I just want to let you know uh, I have a video on base and contouring for weddings, and I will link that video here. And on my face, I just have basically what I have in that same video, except I used my Avon um, Minerals Powder Foundation because I used a loose powder foundation when I did Rachel's makeup. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get started on the eyes. And uh, of course, you want to start first with uh, Shadow Insurance or any sort of eyeshadow primer base. I should also say that my eyebrows have also been uh, filled in and you definitely want to make sure to fill in your eyebrows after you do your foundation because a lot of times you apply a little bit heavier foundation on your wedding day or on special occasions and I can't tell you how many times I've seen people in their photographs with sort of invisible brows, brows that have been muted out by their foundation and it looks really weird first of all and you can tell that it's foundation. It almost makes their foundation look cakey and not natural. Uh, so I'll be right back with the one I finished. Okay, so I have started applying my base color, and my base color is just Dazzle Light by MAC. This is what the color looks like. I've hit pan a while ago. Just really want to pack it on the lid and then kind of blend it out everywhere else. Next, I'm going to be using this MAC palette. It's from the Tartan Collection. And let's see, I think the color is called... Crown and Scepter, it's called. It's this color here, Crown and Scepter. It's a really beautiful uh, coppery bronze. It's got a touch of pink tone in it, but you can really use any bronze color that you like. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter what the bronze color is, but this one really works beautifully for uh, brown eyes. I'm sorry, for blue eyes. It works beautifully well. It looks nice on brown eyes as well, but it really makes blue eyes pop because it has that sort of pink tone that really makes the blue pop. So this color looked absolutely stunning on her. We tried a couple of other brown colors, and this color really made a big difference for her eye color. So I would say uh, if you really like this palette, but you're not able to find it because they no longer carry it, you can actually find it at All Cosmetics Wholesale. I just went there the other day, and they did still have it in stock. So you can see I'm using this contour brush that has a nice angle to it. Let's see if that's going to... You see it has a nice angle to it. So I'm just going to use this to kind of pat the color into place. And what we want to do is get it in the outer half of the eye, outer third of the eye, and then just build it up just slightly in the outer corner so that it's tapered. And again, we're just applying the color here. Now we're going to get it inside the crease as well. Just going to reapply one little dab and then you want to get it in the corner of the eye as well. Now you can see that it's much stronger right now than it is on the other eye, but we're going to blend it out profusely. So now I'm just going to take what's become my favorite blending brush, which is the um, Sephora Double Ended Brush. looks like this. You see me use it all the time. Now we're just going to gently feather out and blend this beautiful color into the eye. 
And this color really would look good on pretty much any eye color. I think it would look beautiful with green eyes as well. It's just that it has a spe a, an especially beautiful impact on blue eyes. Just want to be clear with that. So you can see we're just sort of blending this out, really making sure. Blending is key on your big day. You really want it to be just a very professional, beautiful job. And you can do this. You can totally do your makeup for your wedding day. So now we're just going to go right back into our base shade, which was the MAC Dazzle Light, or whatever sort of shimmery color you like. And we're just going to really pack it on the lid here so that we get a nice bright pop. Very important. And now just on a small brush like this one, I'm going to dip into the MAC Carbon which is just a matte black shade. And I'm just going to gently tap it into the eye, just into the contour area, nowhere else, not even into the corner. So I'm just gonna show you like that. And then just go right back over it with that blending brush. And this is just going to darken it up a little bit and give it a little bit more of a contour and a little bit more of a depth for your eye. Now, the next step is liner. And the liner that I actually used on Rachel for her special day was the Aqua Black in the Makeup Forever, which looks like this. It's just, you can see mine's pulled away from the sides, but it still works great. So this is just a very waterproof liner, and I used it on... A bent liner brush and then also a MAC 264 I think it is 266 sorry 266 I used a combination of these two brushes to get that on her lash line and in between her lash line and then I also used a little bit of just a matte black shadow with a little bit of mixing medium or a studio fix you know a mist and fix whatever or even water as well to just kind of go over it and make sure the line was really really smooth and really 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 dark Today I'm going to uh, skip using the Makeup Forever Aqua Liner, but what you would do is put your basic line with this so that it's waterproof, and then you would basically set it with a black powder that you could wet if you were trying to get a deeper, smoother line. But today I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, Mist and Fix, and, which is by Makeup Forever. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of that, spray it on my work surface here, and wet my angled brush and uh, just apply it to a black shadow. And I'm just going to line my eyes this way because this is a bit easier for me to remove later. And also, if you're um, not too worried about your makeup running, which it shouldn't run anyway because your mascara is the biggest, is gonna be the biggest offender for running and you should definitely use waterproof mascara. You can use this if you have trouble lining because using a, you know, a pencil brush, uh, I'm sorry, an angled brush like this and powder is actually a lot easier than using a gel liner. So if you have a very unsteady hand with gel liners, this will work great. I'm just going to take a concealer brush. This is just a regular concealer brush and I'm taking it in that beautiful coppery shade again and you really want to pack it on the concealer brush. And now we're just going to line the bottom lid. I'm sorry, the bottom, yeah, the bottom lid. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> and this is going to really make your blue eyes pop if you have blue eyes or if you have green eyes. As for me, you can see that it really brings out the green in my eyes almost instantly. Now there's just one more step and that's taking your angled liner brush with the black color that it has on it already. And we are just going to wiggle into our lash line just barely. You don't want it to look like a line. And this is basically going to make our eyes and our lashes look really thick in the corner. Which is going to be really pretty. It's going to be like basically uh, applying a little tiny set of false lashes in the corner, which is going to be... So it makes a big difference. You can see it makes those lashes look nice and thick and lustrous in the bottom. 
And then the next step is just to apply a small amount of fake lashes. And what I have here is just a corner set, which is basically, you can buy these sets by themselves. They're just uh, flare lashes. But what I do is actually just cut lashes uh, myself. So uh, you would just apply them the regular way that you would apply lashes. These ones I've used before. And you would just basically apply them to the bottom half of your eye. And this works really, really great for bridal looks because it doesn't uh, feel as uncomfortable, first of all, as lashes can be if you're not used to wearing them. And uh, second of all, it has a really dramatic effect, but it's not like a full lash effect, which sometimes can look a little bit fake. So I love using this technique for brides, but you can also use individual lashes and just pop them wherever you need them. But I think this is, uh, it just has a nice way of making your look look really glam. So just to show you, here's with mascara and the corner lashes and then without so you can see there's quite a big difference with those extra lashes in the corner and you can see they look very natural so I'm just gonna pop these lashes on and I'll be right back to show you once you get your mascara applied to your bottom lashes as well you can go ahead and pop a black liner into your waterline you could use black track and set it with powder I like to use the uh, Avon Super Shock gel liner it's my favorite waterline liner and it really does last in my eyes quite a long so time. So there you have the eye look. And uh, I just love this look. It's really pretty and simple, but it has so much glamour and beauty to it. There are just a couple more steps to the entire makeup look, and I'm going to show you those next. So to get Rachel's beautiful glow for your wedding day, you're just going to need a few products. And uh, this is the Smashbox Fusion Soft Lights and Intermix. And this is the blush that we used for her because I really wanted to give her a nice rosy glow. So we're just going to take Intermix and swirl it into the cap to make sure that all the colors are mixed together and then just apply to the apples of the cheeks. And you definitely want to make sure you have a nice glow for your wedding day because I see a lot of people sort of washed out. If you don't wear a lot of makeup that is completely fine, but you definitely need a little bit of color on your lips and your cheeks. You don't want to go too neutral because you want to look very fresh. And I think this blush does a wonderful job of making you look fresh without being too, too pink. Just a really nice, natural, warm glow. So that's pretty simple. And then I also use this um, cool Smashbox Gold Mine Face and Body Palette. I just used this powder as her highlight. It's a nice gold powder. So I just applied a little bit of this to the tops of her cheekbones. So that's the cheeks completely done, and the lips could not be easier. It's just Makeup Forever's Aqua Lip in 1C. And just so you know, you can see that my lips are very shiny, or a little bit shiny. I actually put Fusion, Lip Fusion, on my lips. so. You might want to put on a plumper the day of your wedding because then you're going to get a nice full look, although you might want to experiment it with, experiment with it ahead of time. Um, but this is going to help kind of plump up any lines you have in your lips and give you a nice full appearance without, I mean, it doesn't make your lips super, super plump, but you would want to experiment. So now we're just lining the lips with a nice nude lip liner. And then we're going to do what you see me do in a lot of videos, cheat the lines. So just fill in the corners and the very bottom part here, leaving the center paler. And then you want to do the same for these corners. And then I applied NARS Greek Holiday. Now, if you are tan like me, you might need a little bit more color than this on your lips. Rachel has this very beautiful um, sort of ivory skin tone. So, um, so this color was quite bright for her, but I can see right now in the camera feedback, this might be a little bit too pale if you're tan or medium skin toned, in which case you might just want to add a little pop of color. My all-time favorite lipstick color for brides is this beautiful, let's see what it's called. 
It's this Maybelline Superstay in 240, shade 240. And this is really beautiful as well if you're a bit of a darker skin tone. And that would still look great with this look. So if you wanted to take this look one tiny step forward, you can take the gold gloss that's right in the in the same gold mine palette and just tap it on your bottom lip and tap it right in the center of your Blend top that lip. out a little bit so you get a nice highlight on your lip. And this is the final bridal look, guys. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that if you choose to use this look for your wedding, that you'll let me know, tag a video, uh, maybe do a slideshow of your wedding pictures. We'd all really love to see it. I just want to say thanks so much for all your support, guys, for subbing and watching, and I hope you guys are having a great summer so far. And I'll see you guys very soon. Happy weddings. Bye-bye.